Welcome back to my Animal Crossing New Horizons. I'm Dear Darling, and I shall we see what's going on on our lovely island of Horn Hollow today, where we'll be relaxing as per usual. Did a video go up normal today? Balloon loop today. Okay, nice. Um, I don't actually have an Ogami episode. Episode. I don't have an Ogami episode in the backlog. Uh, I don't have an Ogami episode in the backlog right now, so I need to actually um, record one at some point, um, which will be today. But I'm also playing Boulder Skate today, so I'm not sure how that's going to work. Um, Apparently, quite a few people watching a FNAF movie have a Crocs video. I don't know what's going on with that. Uh, but anyway, hello everyone. Right now in Fawn Hollow, it's 6.06pm on Tuesday, November 14th, 2023. So, um, I'm not here on this weekend um, because I'll be visiting some friends. So, I've actually pre-recorded two episodes. So, you you know, Happy Home Paradise fans, you are winning right now. You'll be getting two episodes on the weekend. Um, but what, what's going on in my life right now? Right now, um, my new phone has arrived. I think I mentioned that I was gonna think about ordering one, and then you know, Black Friday sales uh, on the Google Store. I was like, okay, and um, and I was like, especially because I'm running out of space on my phone, mainly because playing Genshin, Honkai, and all these like other like musical rhythm games takes up way too much space on my phone, uh, which makes it very difficult, I think, for me to actually <laughs> play these games. Um, but because of that, I was just like, okay, now is the time to probably spring for a new phone. Like my battery on this phone, it's not terrible, but it's not amazing. Um, it kind of depends what I'm doing. Um, I think from light usage, it, it will last like a few hours still, but it, it does not last me the whole day. Um, like not normally it will last me, I think about till halfway and then I had to charge it up again or something like that. Um, but it's still, on, on, honestly, this is like probably the first time I think I've, in a while, <laughs> you can hear my new phone like that. Can I, can I, can I put you on, actually, I'm going to, I'm going to put you on no notifications just for a second, um, or silent because, um, vibrate will be very annoying as well. I think I'm, I, I'm actually curious to see how aggressive a vibrate is on the Pixel 7, but, um, yeah, but this is like the first time in a while, I think I've bought a phone, not because my old one was like defunct or like dying, like horribly or something like the phone, like the phone my old phone now my old phone is the pixel 4a and before that i think i had like a pixel xl um so i went 147 <laughs> so you can see i basically upgrade every three uh, pixel cycles um i could have gone for pixel 8 but i was like i don't need to and it's like way more expensive so really what's the point um the, the only option the only reason i would have gone for pixel 8 would have been because it lasts like the updates are longer but i'm like okay i'd I probably change you know um maybe when pixel 10 comes out that will probably be around the time i change according to my um predefined patterns um but like my, my pixel xl phone like it it was dying like it, its battery was like non-existent it lasted like two hours or something um so i was like constantly plugged in i think like a headphone jack didn't even work anymore no it was it couldn't play sound out anymore or something like that so you had to exclusively use a headphone jack if you wanted to listen to things uh, it, it was stuff like that it was running terribly slow i had like no space on my phone and i think space is actually the number one reason i tend to upgrade my phone um so uh, i've i've not really set it up you know i've only had like a little bit of time to like properly set things up i've i let things i let it run like it's natural setup i've copied stuff over from my old phone uh, i think it copied over every app you know what surprised me it's actually copied like almost every single app like it copied over like my japanese apps as well which like you need to be installed like <laughs> while well, connected to like a, a japanese vpn which is wild um installed some apps which aren't even from the app store um like i don't know no, no, no. there was definitely one i saw and i was like i can't believe it installed that because last time i copied over my phone i don't know why i remember this i remember setting up this pixel 4a and it didn't copy those things over so i had to reinstall them and by the way if you ever become become a fan of like japanese games or like japanese exclusive games just like don't on my mobile because it's really annoying setting them up <laughs> i'm gonna be honest um and this is where you go like oh you can use q app and that sort of thing i'm like yeah you could use q app but i don't really like using q app because it's like oh it's like so tedious you have to have like a third party app as well and have, you know and updates sometimes get delayed and i don't want to have like a third app when i could just install it from a google play store and then sometimes if i'm like oh i want to buy the battle pass or something i can't buy that battle pass and it's like ah oh, it's like such a pain um, but anyway, I I'm not here to talk about that. You can find tutorials of that online. I'm just surprised it installed everything. So now um, what my I'm planning to do while my phone charges up is on 28% is um, to go through each of the apps and like slowly set it up because I, I have the luxury of basically being able to use both my phones simultaneously. Um, not with like previous times. Like when I got the Pixel XL, I think the one before my Pixel XL was... 
Was it an HTC Desire? Have I only had four phones in my life? Was my fourth phone? That might actually be true. That is cr no, it was a Nexus 5. I've had five. This is my fifth phone. Uh, and then before that was HTC Desire. Um, yeah, but that phone was like super broken. I don't even know what my Pixel phone is. I think it might be actually in this like chest of drawers next to me. If not, that's where my Pixel 4a phone will be going. And they will just be like a backup phone. I'm not really sure what to use it for. I think like once everything has successfully transferred from this phone to that phone, I think it would be cool to actually use this Pixel 4a for like something. Like maybe I can not use it as like a, a work phone or something. I'm going to be honest, if, if I need a work phone, the work better provide me the phone. <laughs> I'm not using my own phone for a work phone. Um... News. I'm just seeing um, what else is going on my phone. Uh, what was I going to say? Um, I, I might use it for like, I, I don't know specifically what, but I might be able to use it for, I mean, it would just be like an empty phone, you know, with like 100 gigs of space. I could use it like, maybe I could use it as like a podcast thing, or maybe I could use it specifically for like my art stuff or like I'm... Um, like my art, like my writing, my music when I and my YouTube channel, like that sort of thing, like have two phones for it. One of them I use for everything, my recreational stuff, and then this one I use specifically for like my own personal hobby. It's like my hobby work phone. Um, I'm not saying I'm going to do that, but it's a possibility. <laughs> um, but the thing actually st struck out to me this time is um, I've been using the same wallpaper and lock screen and um, for a while now, like it, this, the one I'm currently using is, I can't even remember what an artist is from, but it's basically like this, um, where he's like two grim reapers or something, like holding hands, I suppose, in the background. And I looked at it and I was like, I think it's time for me to change my background, you know, and my lock screen. I really like this art style and like, I like whoever's um, art this is, but I feel like it's time to upgrade, not upgrade necessarily, but change it to something new. Because I looked at it and I was just like, you know, new phone, new me. Let's go for a new thing. Because that, that, that was much more, I think, evocative of much my, my much more teenage sort of interests being a lot more like, um, not to say I don't like harrowing thematics anymore, um, but it's not really, I suppose, as aligned with me nowadays. I think I, I, I much prefer much more elegant stylings now. Or um, I'm not, I hesitate to say cute because I'm not, I'm not sure... If, cute isn't my like my number one aesthetic but very much elegant aesthetic is sort of my number one nowadays you know like a, a field of flowers or something like that or I don't know some playful artistry with like light and refraction like that that would scream dear darling to me um I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna set it with I might try and draw my own I'm not really sure what I would draw to be honest but I mean there, there was a thing I did for a friend's birthday which I was after drawing it, I was like, this would make like a really good like phone background or um, like um, a phone case thing. I've ordered a phone case as well. It's coming on Thursday, I think. So I'm going to still be kind of careful while using this uh, phone. Like, let's not scratch a screen. Let's not drop it or anything like that. Um, but yeah, you might be like, which phone color did you get? Uh, I went with a white one actually this time. I went with snow. Um, usually I get a black phone, but you know, nowadays I'm, I'm having more of a switch, I suppose, to white electronics. Like my keyboard is white, my computer case is white, all my cables are white. I, I prefer, I suppose, well, I'm starting to switch or okay, come around to the idea of having white electronics rather than black electronics. Um, I think it's more just for the novelty, if anything, to be perfectly honest. I'm not, I'm not going to say there's any particular smart reason for it. It's just sort of a change of pace and I'm like okay you know why not get a white phone as well to sort of match all these sort of things and that is exactly what I've done um what else was I going to talk about but yeah it's just like I feel like I need a new wallpaper I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to spring with uh you know what would be good maybe I should just try and find whoever did the art for my current one and just see if they've made some like upgraded not upgraded but much more recent artworks which I'm like yeah okay that way I still get that sort of aesthetic, but we'll see. I don't know. A lot of times I just sort of, when I browse the desktop. Actually, what's my current desktop background? I don't even remember. Oh, it's this one. I forgot I drew this background. It's um an artwork I actually did for Animal Crossing. It's of Celeste sitting on the moon. <laughs> um, I, forgot I, I forgot I drew that as for the express purposes of having background. So I guess maybe I should draw my own mobile phone background. I don't, I'm gonna have to come up with an idea. Because normally I like something simple, actually. This is a rare case of um, 
my phone background is something which is actually quite complicated which i've which i've used but i think it'd be nice to have something simple patternesque and of course elegant i'm not really sure what though <laughs> i'm gonna have to figure out what it is some sort of scene probably what it would be it would be just some sort of cute animal um chilling about and it would be very disney-esque that's I think when I draw animals, I'm, I'm most inspired by Disney. And I don't mean anthropomorphic animals. That's, I'm kind of more inspired by a mishmash of um, whatever artists I've probably seen before. And when, that is a cool art style. But when I draw animals themselves, they're very sort of a cartoony Disney-esque. Maybe not quite Disney-esque. I'm, I'm not going to say I'm to that level. <laughs> um, but I think you can certainly see the inspiration behind it. Um, Disney and maybe anime-inspired. And what is anime but Disney inspired after all? Or was it the other way around? I don't remember. Is one of them is like Astro Boy and Donald Donald Duck, one of them inspired the other. It must be Donald Duck inspired Astro Boy. Donald Duck is way older than Astro Boy, surely. <laughs> um, I don't know if that's necessarily true, but surely. Um anyway, sorry, what was I saying? Um Yeah, so right now it's just in the tedious thing of setting up a new phone. Uh, which is always I think the worst part of getting electronics is setting things up. Um, but it does allow me to, I suppose, clean things up on my phone because now, now I can look at the apps I've got installed on my phone and be like, do I need this? Keep it? Do I not? Uninstall it, you know? I, I, I guess we can do a little bit of game of that right now. Obviously, I'm not going to say every single app on my phone because that's ridiculous. But uh, the only one I've set up so far is Amazon because that was the first one alphabetically. And the next one is going to be Amex. So, you know, we're, we're in for a jolly good, exciting time. Um, I can't get to the cafe because Apollo's in the way. Okay, what, what's the next one? It's very weird having the fingerprint sensors on the front. I'm not used to it. Art station, that can stay. Authenticator, that can stay. Authent All the authenticators, they can stay. Barclays, that can stay. Boots can stay. Calculator, calendar, camera, chrome. City mapper, I don't really use. But I've heard it's really good. I just need to get into using it. Delivery. Uh, uh, uh. I mean, I feel like I must have done this recently because all of this stuff is stuff I use or should be using. I don't know what Google One is or Google TV, but I've seen those kind of come with um, the thing. So, you know what I should be doing is I should absolutely get Genshin Impact um, open and start installing those updates because those updates are huge and take forever. <laughs> All these Mihoyo games. If I'm not installing everything else, that's fine, but uh, I can actually log on to my account. I, 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 sadly, I remember my... Um, my login details off the top of my head. Uh, what is my password? Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. Not going to say it out loud for obvious reasons. Done. Verification code. <sighs> it's got to open up my email. Uela email. A lot of security alerts because I've just signed in on Pixel 7. Oh, get code. You didn't actually send me one. I forgot. This happened last time when I was doing it with um, logging into Genshin. It was like I was waiting for a verification code, but I realised I had to click the button to actually send a verification code in the first place. I have so many emails just tied together. So every single time I log, in, log into something, I get like six... Um, different emails being like hey someone's logged into your account and i'm like yes it was me <laughs> like how many how many alerts did i just get like this is my dear darling email i got an alert for this one i got an alert for this one got an alert for this one i don't know why i didn't get an alert for there's another email which should be tied to this but i'm surprised it's not here but oh well um How do I sign out of account on Gmail? <laughs> I'm currently logged into someone else's account, which I definitely should not be. My Google Store shipment is here, thank you. How do I sign out of Google account? Look at your profile picture in top panel and corner. Click on your profile picture to open a new menu. Sign out at the bottom. I can only sign out of all accounts. Maybe I can do it from a different app. I 
How do I sign out of just one account? <laughs> Google only button is to sign out of all accounts. Did not use the video, it's a huge step backwards. Uh, did indeed sign out of every account and putting another change except the name. The action of a button has not changed. The action of a button has not changed, really? Let's try it. Oh my god, why would it do this? It actually just signed me out of all my accounts. Why would it do this? It actually did just sign me out of all my accounts. <laughs> but my, my Google rep has lied to me. Okay, whatever. You know, we're doing this live on camera. We're, we're sorting out the accounts. This is what you're here for about Animal Crossing goodness, is to actually listen to me um, set this sort of stuff up. Now I need to log into all my accounts again, which is such a pain. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to say these out loud because I'm not insane. What's my password for this? Is that my password? That's my password. Oh, I'm gonna get so many authentications again. Yes, it's me. Oh, I can't, I actually can't believe it did this. Why is there only a button to sign out of all accounts? Can I just say that is a very poor design? I'm actually annoyed at Google at this one. Okay, I think it signed me back into. Okay, sign in to this account. That's my password for this one. Um, recovery. I should have a recovery email. Okay, I already have a recovery email for this one, so I don't need to do this. Google, don't just just tell me if I've got a recovery email or something. This is just ridiculous. Okay, nice. Okay, sign in to my dear darling account. What's my dear darling password? I think it's this one. I don't know why I made this one so long, to be honest, but. Okay, hot, hot, hot. Okay, not now. I've almost certainly got a recovery email. Like, all of my emails are recovery emails or there are emails. And you might be like, why do you have so many emails? I just, I just do, okay? Don't judge me. Um, what is this one's password? I don't know, off the top of my head. <laughs> is, is this exciting? I mean, the episode's almost over, so I guess we'll just round it off here almost. Is this it? This looks right. Da, 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 da. It's going to be absolutely disastrous if one of these is not not correct. I'm going to be like, no, no. Um, okay, you don't need to tell me. On every single email that I've logged in, I know. <laughs> Google really doesn't know what to do if you log in on multiple emails. It's just like, ah, someone's trying to hack you. It's me. Hello, it's me. Okay, luckily these emails are not that to I don't even know why I'm signed in on this email, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> like, what, what do I need this email for? This is like a super old email from back when I was like, um... Honestly, back when Gmail like first started. This actually holds my old YouTube account. Which, by the way, I'm obviously not going to tell you. Um, in fact, I'm just going to run this episode up here. But, you know, new phone setup. It's not, not always the most exciting thing to do. But sometimes it can be exciting. Once everything's fully set up, then you get to fully enjoy the new phone. Uh, maybe that's just me. I don't know. I feel like most... I feel like probably the more normal thing to do is just to, like, start afresh every single time. Almost. Or just copy over and be like, yeah, that's it. I don't know. But here I am, sort of methodically setting everything up. Anyway, if you have been watching, thank you very much. It's been Animal Crossing New Horizons. I've been Dear Darling. Likes, comments, subscription, shares, greatly appreciated. Socials, Discord down below. Hope we see each other again. But for now, it's our farewell. So until next time, bye-bye for now. I also took out my Steam controller. I don't know when I did this. <laughs>